G'day guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanna show off a driving range that I use quite a lot, and it is the night range. So to access this driving range, don't go in local match, make sure you go in practice, and then go on course practice. You wanna type in night into the search function. If you haven't got this downloaded, then click on the show all courses box there. I have, so that's it there. It's the night range, location area 51, and it's designed by John Mayer. Click on play course. It goes through all your normal settings, have the settings set up however you want, and then just go play night range. All right, once it's loaded, this is what you're met with. It's essentially a target range, and I'll do a flyover. And what you're gonna see is all the different yardages, all the greens that you can hit to, going out to 300 yards for the final target. The range does extend beyond that. And then what you can do is you can actually select on the hole icon and you can select different holes. So it's gonna start from the furthest and work its way back. So the first hole's the 300 yard, second hole's 250, third hole's 225. It's gonna step back. If you wanna have more your, say, nine iron or wedge shots, holes seven through 14 are generally good for that. Hole 14 being 100 yards here. So I'll hit a shot to this hole. We'll just get our 52 and we'll just do some wedge work. Okay, left that one out right, a little bit short. But as you can see, um, you're hitting to actual greens, hitting to actual targets. Now, the cool thing is if you wanted to practice a precise range, if you jump up to the top left-hand corner, you've got the ball icon. So say if you wanted to practice your wedge work, your wedge matrix, and you actually wanna hit 102 yard shots, you can actually click this ball icon anywhere on the screen. So I'll go a little bit behind me. That's 101, we'll click on it again, and again, click on the screen. Now I've got 102 yards as the yardage, or I can click on the ball icon and I can move anywhere I want. I can go out onto the into the middle of the range if I want and hit different shots. So you do have that option to move the ball or move around wherever you want to on this range. So that's just a short one today, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. There are multiple driving ranges on GS Pro that people have actually made. So definitely check some of them out. You have more options other than just the standard driving range. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did let me know, any comments or questions, leave them down below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.